The Center for Democracy and Development has raised concerns over potential for violence and increased voters' apathy across the country to the lack of trust in INET to conduct a free and fair elections. The executive director of the organization, Idaya Hassan, made this known during a press briefing in Abuja. Hassan, who called on INEC to improve on areas where lapses were observed in the last general election, says the lessons must be used to deliver a better election that is free, fair, and credible. INEC preparedness, diminished violence, are actually critical for credible elections um, tomorrow. And we note uh, specifically and importantly that while there will be 28 governorship elections, in that 17 are new elections where the incumbents are time bad are from vying in the elections and lemon incumbents vying which creates a recipe for much more uh, for intense competition in these elections and that credible polls are vital but it will actually be challenged by threats of violence logistical obstacles links still to insecurity and that the cash and false scarcity are yet to actually uh, completely disseminate. While with this, in these current elections, there is actually it's being conducted against the background of diminished trust in the Independent National Electoral Commission following the polls of the 25th February uh, itself. And there are critical issues we highlighted. Political violence is one of this uh, that we find very important. For instance, going through our data uh, since the beginning of the year, January until 10th of March this year, there has been a total of 109 deaths linked to political violence recorded uh, from the Nigerian Election Violence Tracker, which is a joint uh, initiative between the Center for Democracy and Development and HACLIT um, uh, itself. And that this is actually likely to uh, worsen with groups such as Yan Sakai, Civilian JTF, Neighborhood Watch, Amoteko, and Ibubia group haven't been involved pre elections and actually likely to be much more involved in these forthcoming elections itself. And there would actually be attempts by both incumbent opposition as well in their stronghold, not just to perpetrate election violence, but also to suppress a uh, voter turnout itself and the whole talks will play. And this again feeds that this insecurity potent serious threat, uh, threat for the elections and increases the likelihood of inconclusive elections in some states. INEC will possibly have learned a lesson from the challenges that emanated from the 25th February elections and the extra one week they've had to use in configuring this uh, BBAS itself has given them time, additional time, to adequately prepare for these elections. We hope to see that translate to the prompt opening of pooling units across the country, and um, we also hope that there will be adequacy of voting materials as well and we will foster a situation where people are to vote till the next day itself. They need to use the INEC result viewing platform, IREV, uh, in these forthcoming elections, as we believe that it will actually contribute to greater election results transparency uh, itself. And we call on them to ensure they also hold their elected government officials accountable but on uh, their representative on ground uh, accountable.